Hey, welcome to Tasteful Tuesday. Let's pour into the what? Glass with your girl. Glass half empty and glass half full. Before we get into the what? Wine of the week. Let's go over some house rules. Now, you know, if your girl leave this glass half empty, you know I am what? Loving it. But now, if I leave this glass half full, uh -uh, I'm just not feeling it. Let me put this disclaimer out there, okay? Everyone's palate is different. You may like it, I may not. I may like it, you may not. Everyone's palate different, but you know what we're gonna do? Enjoy sipping this wine, yes! So make sure you're paying attention to see how I'm gonna leave my glass. All right, so the wine of the week is La Crema, right? La Crema means the best of the vines, okay? This wine is from California. It is located in the Monterey region. This is a family-owned and operated winery. Yeah, so you know, hey, it's all in the family. Keep it all in the family, okay? Now, I did read up on it that they do keep, uh, they do operate in a cool climate. So that's, you know, that's good. Yes, all right, so let's just get into it. The wine is Pinot Noir Rosé. Let's get into it, okay? This is a very, very cute, um, simple wine bottle. So you can see it. Let me move this up. Probably too much light, I guess. But yes, this is a, a Pinot Noir Rosé. As you can see, it does not have a cork in it so i can just do is twist it yes let's get the twisting you know hey some days i be feeling like girl i'm not feeling with no cork right now okay don't feel like doing it screw it okay <laughs> but sometimes i just need to you know just twist up really quick so i can really really get to this wine okay because this wine is going to, I don't know. I, some days I just need wine right away when I get home from work from teaching all day, okay? So let's pour into the wine. Pour, pour, pour. Let me pour a little more. Let's see. All righty. Now, tonight, I don't have anything to pair it with, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna, I will taste it to let you know what I would pair it with, okay? But I just don't feel like pairing it with tonight with this wine, okay? Hmm. Well, I do see like a, some type of, to me, I can go do like an orangey pink, maybe an orangey pink. Let me open up the aromas. Okay. Yes, the fact that I said it's like an orangey pinkish thingy of color of the wine. I do smell some orange. Maybe a little. Hmm, raspberry. Let's taste. Very juicy acidity. Very juicy acidity. I still, when I smelled it, I smelled orange. I still taste the orangey taste of it. Um, maybe a hint of strawberry. That's what I'm getting, a hint of strawberry.
to me it has a creamy finish like it's very creamy not say just creamy finish but when when sipping it it feels very creamy um does have a long finish can't even know after i finish sipping it i can still like it's creamy um very surprised that it has like a creamy um taste to it all right again like i said this is from what the monterey region in california this is a 13.5 percent i did get this from publix okay listen i like on total wine abc wine publix or target but mainly publix and target okay sometimes i go to uh total wines to use you know my deals and my coupons who doesn't but yes this is where i got you from it um, from publix it's like 19.99 plus tax so you're gonna give it like 20 something bucks you know um yeah so let's hit what's going on in these streets okay in these streets like how do you feel about what's the girl name oh no, i can't think of her name Oh, that sucks. I had her name. The one that's dating. What is that? The rapper Blueface? Oh, my goodness. I cannot think of her name. Oh. Well, we're not going to talk about that because I can't even think of her name right now. Having a whole moment. I really, really am. Sorry. Can't think of it. But, you know what I mean, how do you all feel about, you know, uh, holidays is coming up. What are you all going to do for your holidays? Uh, I've seen a lot of things going around on social media. It's like, uh, what, holiday boo? You know, like, you've written a boo for the holidays so you can go around with your, with your people. I'm saying, but how, how are we doing this? Because after, what's going to happen? What's going to happen after, you know, after Thanksgiving, after Christmas, after New Year's? What about the other days out the year? What you going to tell your family? Hmm? What you going to tell them? Where the boo at? <laughs> I'm not understanding. Child, just if you going to be single, be single. Be happily single during the holiday season, okay? You save a lot more money because you ain't got to worry about buying your man or your girl no gift. You feel me? Have a little in your stash stash. Okay. All right. What else? Um, what wines do you all like? Do you like uh, red? Do you like white? Do you like bubbly? Um, what all do you like? You know, a lot of times people ask me, you know, what type of wine do you like? Listen, I don't discriminate. I love all types of wine, okay? <laughs> Doesn't even matter. I love all types of wine. But when I did first out, um, first started to drink wine, I used to only do white wine, right? I used to do white wine, I used to do the sweet wines and things like that. Um, after a while, you know, I started to do something else, like to get my uh, palettes together. So I've got it to slowly... I got into what uh, Chardonnays and um, Pinot Grigio and things like that. Started to get into those, and then I stepped a little further and got into red wines. And then that's when I finally, like, really, really started loving um, red wines. Uh, it's just the boldness of it, the different spices and oaky or non-oaky. Yes, if those are words. Okay, taste of the wine and things like that. It's just so many they can do with the wine. Like, look at this one. This is a Pinot Noir Rosé. You know, a lot of people, you know, you could just mix up things to bring those families together within that wine group, within those grapes to make a good wine, you know? It's just so much that you can, you can do. Like, there's port wines. I just, the other day, I found a white port wine instead of the red port wine. Um, like last week I did the, what, the Nova, 
um, black, which was the port wine from Portugal. I did that one, but I was very amazed that I actually found a white port. Like I've read about it, I heard about it, but here in Miami, I haven't really seen it until the other day. When was I at uh, ABC Wine? And I seen the white port wine, so I can't wait to review that. I can't wait to taste it and things like that. Um, a lot of times, if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram, glass half empty, glass half full. I do a lot of uh, cocktails on Sundays. I do a lot of wine cocktails. I do a lot of uh, champagne cocktails. Now, this, well, the ones that's coming up, because a lot of times I try to do two to three videos on a Sunday so that when the next Sunday comes, I already have videos up, so I don't have to keep doing it on just on Sundays, and um, and try to post the same day. So I just try to make sure I do a lot of videos and on one on one Sunday. But the Sunday that's coming, I tried the uh, I did the cocktail with Empress Gin with the bubbly and like you know lemon juice and simple syrup and stuff like that. Right, did all of that. And I'm a gin lover. I didn't like the Empress. I didn't enjoy it. I'm going to try it again to see if it was just that. But I didn't like it. It's just the coloring of it, you know. All right. Snow for Indago, if you out there listening, can you make a purple gin? Can you make your gin purple? Because I had to spice it up after. And as soon as that added that Indago, um, uh, Snoop Dogg's strawberry gin. Oh, it was so good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Like, it was so much better. Snoop, color your um, Indago gin with purple. Okay, lavender, whatever. We need it. You know, I don't know. I'm going to try it again with the Empress. I'm just going to... Try it again. Woo, try. Excuse me. I took my braids out and uh, like they're like little, little quick wash and things like that. So I am afroing it up today. So if it looks out of whack, I do apologize. Now, let's go into some pairings with this wine. I would definitely pair it with some salmon. Ooh, even some like crab legs yes yeah, some crab legs would go very well with this okay some shrimp but I would definitely some crab legs I think it would be bomb with this okay bomb all right so let me fast forward to this weekend right have you all been watching from scratch I finished it. It was so good. I even <laughs> the alarm guy came here and to uh, install the alarm in my house, and I looked to the side. He's standing watching it too. So I was like, "Sir, excuse me." He's like, "I didn't get to this episode. I think he said I stopped at the episode before this." He was just stunned. I was like, "Oh my god!" Because I kept asking him questions. He was like, "But I didn't get that far." I was like, oh my God. I looked at her and I said, you better make sure my installation is right now. You all over here watching. <laughs> Watch it from scratch with me. But oh my goodness. That is like loving past your flaws. Loving past your sickness. Loving past family issues. Okay. Like you, you find that person that can love you past that. Because both of their both of their families, Lino and um, child, what's the child name? Can't even think of her name right now. But Lino and his wife, which is uh, actress, oh, what, Zoe Sonata, right? Her dad had an issue with her for not going to like a real college or going to you know to law school and things like that. But her heart is that she wants to be. An artist. She wanted to paint. She wanted to make beautiful drawings, right? And her dad was not feeling that. Now, Lino's dad wanted him to be with him in the family's farm, take over, help out, all these things, right? 
Lino didn't want to do that. He wanted to be a chef. So Lino ended up going to uh, Italy. But Lino is from, what, uh, Sicily and Zoe Sonatas. I cannot think of her name right now. <laughs> but her, she's from Texas but lived in, um, I guess, California with her sister moved, whatever it is. You know, and then they end up uh, getting engaged. And Lino's father refused, refused to come to the wedding. He said that he was ashamed of him. He was, he's a disgrace to the family. Not only because he left the family's farm to pursue his, him being a chef, but he was marrying a black girl, right? He only supposed to marry another Sicilian, right? You know, a person from Sicily and things like that. So that's what it was, but he fell in love with, um, Zoe Sonata, I cannot think of her name right now. This is a shame. But they worked through all of that together. And I love the fact that um, they got married. They went back to Italy to have the wedding and so forth like that. And um, down the line, you know, Lino ended up getting sick. Lino ended up getting cancer in his knee and so forth like that. So, like... All the family came down, even though his daddy was still stubborn coming down from um, Italy. His mom in there, things like that. His dad still wouldn't go see him when he came to uh, California, things like that. But I like the fact that they came in and they brought up adoption, right? They didn't want to take any risks with Zoe Sonata's, uh, her character, and Lino because he was going through all that chemo and things like that. So they ended up adopting a young girl. They adopted her from birth. I love the fact that they brought that out. And it shows that what? You know, you may not want to have any issues having a child. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody, you know, in other words, the saying is that, you know, you don't always have to have a child the normal way. You know, it just brought up there's different ways to have a child. And like I always say, it's, no, it's not the matter of the bloodline. It's the matter of the heart, right? And so it was just amazing. It's just like how she stood. The little girl was so close to uh, the mom and more close to Lino. But I started crying because he got sick. He tried to stand firm. Zoe Sonata's uh, character tried to stand firm and whatever it is. But she did not leave yet. She got discouraged. You know, he did end up passing away and so forth like that. It was very, very, so I was boo-boo crying, child. The man looking at me, he looking at me. I seen him, look, you know, his eyes a little watery. He could say he wasn't crying, but whatever. I seen it, Mr. Staller, okay? But it was so good. And I like the fact that Zoe Sonata's sister was like, you know what I mean? Hey, you got to get out of this bed. You got, you got a daughter still here. Yes, yes, you know. Her dad died, your husband died, but you got to get up. You got to show her that, like, there's still life. You know what I mean? There's still things you need to, you know, handle together and things like that. And they was laughing so bad. Then the sister was like, who, child, when the last time you bathed, you got to get up out of here. She said, you know when you're alive, you can smell your own phone. Why not? <laughs> that was like, what? It was just very, very realistic. Things that you can really, like, people that's going through right now. You know what I mean? Like, that was, go look at from scratch. It was very good. I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. Netflix be having it. That was my whole Saturday. Okay, me and then the um, alarm installer, okay? Because he was all into it. You know what I mean? He was a sweetheart, though, but he was all into it, too, like, he was like, oh, my God, when I get home, I have to watch these parts again. I ain't supposed to watch these parts without my wife. I said, oh, you better hurry up. He said, like, I just couldn't stop it. It was so, it was really, really good. Whoever directed that movie, they really, really did it. It's just that it just shows how you can overcome a lot of things in the world, a lot of baggage and package that came from your own family and then have to deal with outsiders and things like that. It just shows that you can do it together with your spouse. You know what I mean? You're stronger together than by yourself. Like, work with it. Like, you stand together. You're a husband and wife. You put, like, whatever. You stand together. Like, they conquered it. And they conquered it together. And, and what happened at the end? Both their families came together. 
You know, they loved one another. They loved him. They And his family ended up loving her. And things like that. It was really good. Like, mm -hmm. very, very surprised child. Now, make sure you tell me. Come on, talk to me in my comments. Let me know which wines which you, uh, you would like me to review, which beers you would like me to review, which sake you like me to review, any cocktails you want me to spring up. Maybe one of these episodes, um, I'll create a wine cocktail or a bubbly cocktail um, for you. Remember to subscribe. So I said subscribe. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to my channel, okay? Catch me every Tuesday for Tasting Tuesday. Yes, okay, check me out then. Uh, follow me on my social media. My TikTok is goddess of greats underscore goodness. And my Facebook page and my Instagram is glass half empty and glass yep make sure you let me know share like comment get at your girl you know talk to me talk to me you want some topics to talk about talk to me i'm here like a lot of things soon i think i'm going to come out more the um like talk about some things that i really want to talk about as far as you know being just period, just like some things that you might need to just talk about or get somebody else's point of view, you know what I mean, just to get, just listen, some things we just need to talk about, but some things, a lot of times, you never know who's in the world that's going through some things just like you, child, we can what? We can sip and talk at the same time. Yes, enjoy a whole glass, a whole bottle of wine. I'm just saying. Or maybe a cocktail. Maybe beer. Maybe sake. We just don't know. Right? That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Thank you for joining me tonight for Tasteful Tuesday. With your girl, glass half empty and glass half full. But wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me stop. Listen, I make a song out of anything, okay? Wait a minute. Let's see how I left my glass. And as you can see, I left it. I, oh, I left it. Oh, child. This, let me tell you, I'm feeling it right now, okay? <laughs> my glass is left half empty. That means what? Your girl is loving it. Loving it, loving it. I really enjoyed this wine. I really did. Like, I think it was the the creaminess of it, right? Listen, I've been making up my own words, y'all. I'm so sorry. It was the the creaminess of the wine. Even after I finished it, I still was. It had a long finish, but I was still able to feel the creaminess of this wine. Yes. It is very good. I enjoyed it, okay? I would definitely, when I do some crab legs, some Dungeness crab legs, I would definitely, like, put a lot of spices to it. Even though I'm not a spicy, spicy person, but I got to get a little kick, okay? And I think it would be very amazing with this wine. So, cheers. I enjoyed it. See you next Tuesday for Tasteful Tuesday.